Welcome. In this video, I'm going to look into uh, timing of timing between a slow, which is slow is the launch, and fast clock is the capture one. And also assuming that both clocks are coming from the same PLL, so both are synchronous to each other. Their edges are aligned and predictable. So it's the continuity of the previous video, okay, where we look between fast and slow. So let's look into this. So slow clock is the red one. And it's period it to x the period of the first clock. So again, just last time, we do need to expand is the, the analysis window from zero to at least four time units because within that you have a one complete cycle of this clock and two cycles of this one. So it needs at least one cycle of all the clocks. Okay, now within that, since it's from slow to capture slow launch edge is this is the only one okay capture fast clock so we have two edges this and this so question is by default tool which could be the timing engine which i whenever i said tool means a timing engine and there are engines within synthesis placement routing and there is a sign of tool in timing engine so for example prime time is a sign off i mean you can always use after synthesis prime time after placement prime time after route, routing but prime time is normally used as a as a final sign off it's more accurate it, it, it covers the timing in a better way in a more sign off way but these basic timing are can be done or are, are done actually within the synthesis and uh, placement or routing tools as well so anyway the timing engine is going to look into launch from here and capture here i mean that's a possibility right or launch here and capture here which one is when which one of these two is most aggressive this one right so it's considered that as setup then when it's considered that setup then it looks into with respect to that the what is the the most aggressive hold here uh, from here to here right this is the only launch edge now if it one thing i was thinking that if if tool i already verified tool actually consider for hold this to this edge zero to zero um i mean from zero to this could be a hold violation if it considered this is the edge but i think based on what the behavior of the, the of the two behavior within the fusion compiler i look into and i can see that that the behavior was that it once it picks this setup it picks this as a whole by default now if you're using a different st engine or different implementation tool uh maybe things are a little different okay always verify uh, in your case uh, always by default do a report timing i try to understand that and I, I i forget these things and every time i look into it and look into these edges again if your basic concepts are good you not worry about that now <clears throat> with this setup this look pretty stringent right now this could be a valid one based on the logic a designer is actually launching here capturing here but if let's say we are talking about a case where designer says you know what when i launch here when the data is launched in the design it's fine to wait for two cycles here across this clock doesn't matter what kind of logic it is you have that blanket statement um, and you better have the designer write that in an email or in a ticket so that you can you can use that and typically whenever we write exceptions on the top we put under comments and we give a full reference of what who confirmed that who approved that and what was the reason and all that because the thing is once an exception is in it's in um sometimes these files get so huge that nobody has time later on to go through every one of them and understand how it was put in and all that so be very very care very careful about these exception i i mentioned that last time but this is such important thing that uh, i will keep mentioning it okay so what we got a green signal that okay launch here and you can capture instead of here you can capture here which means we need to give setup an extra cycle 
and by default this setup is one so if you want to get an extra cycle on setup do you need to mention two so here I'm not giving any dash start and actually by default if you don't give it any it's end because you are moving the end edge by another cycle now if you don't give it any hold what what's happened is once this the setup green moves correctly hold actually moves to this edge and we know that okay that's not that's actually not gonna be uh, realistic imagine that okay that means you have to make it so much delay that this delay, the launch here is never captured here okay that doesn't make any sense so what you do is hold and again you need to ensure that you tell the designer that hold will be this i'm gonna move my hold i'm gonna keep my hold here not here if this is a you need to add a lot of buffers we will look into hold fixing how hold is fixed uh, normally in the flow will come at some point i believe upset multi-cycle then dash hold one from slow to fast slow to fast that's correct and dash and if even if you don't mention it assume that it's end so end is moved back by an edge so we have set up here and hold here i think that's it uh for slow to fast okay take care bye